2024 has released the first trailer for The Adderall Diaries, a dramatic thriller starring James Franco as author Stephen Elliott, whose fascination with a high-profile murder case leads him to his own troubled past. The movie is the feature debut for writer-director Pamela Romanowski and stars Franco, Amber Heard, Christian Slater, Cynthia Nixon, Jane Perrick, and Wilmer Valderrama, and debuts in theaters on April 15th. Dennis Byers saw the new trailer for The Adderall Diaries. I mean, just the trailer itself, I, I think is decent i would probably buy it on on just looking at the trailer but i have big reservations because i watched a movie kind of similar to this that also stars james franco and that was uh what was a true, true story, story with jonah hill mm. and i actually really like that trailer for for it as well watch the movie was very disappointed with it it had a very similar concepts with the criminal uh an author the truth not being told. And this kind of looks very similar to that. I like the actors involved. I like Ed Harris. I like James Franco. But I, yeah, I, I'm just a little apprehensive about this one. I buy it. I buy it big. I didn't I didn't see True Story, so I understand the kind of rationale going into that. Was True Story also based off a book? Uh, yeah, it was based off a truth. Was it? Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, see, I didn't see the movie. Um, but I saw the trailer, and I thought the trailer was good. So, And you and I have pretty similar tastes, so it's disappointing to hear that. But this movie... I, I was really buying it. And I also think because I'm on a little bit of a James Franco kick right now, too, because I'm watching um, 112263, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I love. And if you guys haven't seen it on Hulu Plus, uh, you should. It's great, based off a great Stephen King novel that um, Mark Riley was telling me about and loves it. But Franco is a guy that you either you, you enjoy what he does or some people hate Franco. Um, I happen to be on the really enjoying him lately. And I think that he looks good in this movie. I, Amber Heard was so good in Danish Girl. I, I couldn't believe how good she was. So to see him and her in this film, and I'm always up for, um, for oh God, I can't, uh, help me up with Ed the, Harris. Ed Harris, right. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, always up for Ed Harris. So this is a movie that could be exactly what you're saying, Dennis. It could be one that the trailer looks so great that it just doesn't deliver once you see it. But I'm actually really excited for this uh, movie, and I, and I buy the trailer. I buy it as well. I thought it was really compelling and gripping. I have the book. I've been wanting to read it. People like rave about it. And this is the Franco I love. The dramatic. Like sure he can do the stoner comedies and they're funny. But he's a really incredible actor. And you're right. A lot of people don't see that or don't want to believe it or something bothers them about him. But I think he's the perfect this is it for him. This is, again, to remind us that he's got the acting chops. And you could not have said it more perfectly than about Amber Heard. She used to be just a beautiful face to mm -hmm. me. And the last few films I've seen her in, she's really like pulling from something deeper. And yep. this seems like another role that can show us a different dimension. So I'm, I'm excited about it. All right, Schnapps, two to one. What do yeah. you got? I'm on Team Franco. <laughs> oh, no, I, I love, I love Franco. I, I can't wait to see him play Tommy Wiseau in the the room, the making of oh, the room. Man. That guy kills it. I did it. not. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, uh, hi, hi, Christian. Uh, uh, hi, hi, Mark. Hi. Um, anyway, I, yeah, I buy this trailer. It was, it was a really fun trailer. It looks like it gets into you know people uncovering lies and mistruths about their own past. While like, you know, I mean, that's how a lot of books are written with taking stuff from their own lives. And then the da Ed Harris playing the dad is like, this is all lies for myself. I thought it was a really cool trailer. It was fun to see. I don't know who the dude's playing. The young Frank who's like smashing up the, you know, smashing up the house. He and was stuff. in that horrible movie that just came out recently. That kid was uh, yeah. meet the Coopers, whatever that or, oh, or the, whatever okay. that Coopers movie was. And he, he was OK in it, but he looks good in this film. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I buy this uh, trailer. I'm going to see it. Um, and, you know, the point you bring up about Ed Harris kind of screaming you know, like, it looks like there's going to be a little bit more to it than just kind of meets the eye. There's going to be this some kind of reveal or something at the end that it's not all it's not all what you think, you know. Um, and you have Christian Slater who also has yes. been having a comeback, yeah, now, too, with Mr. Robot and. Yeah, so I really buy it. Pump up the volume. Oh, I love it. They're gonna re you know they're going to remake that movie. No, you know they're going it. to. Yeah, and I, I think this movie is actually a DirecTV exclusive. I think it's debuting on DirecTV. Oh, is that and, true? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, the same thing that the uh, also the, the Lance Armstrong movie did the same thing. Uh, yeah. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.